Right, we're going to look at uh, exponential graphs. Um, the idea is exactly the same, and in, in, I suppose probably probably easier than doing uh, reciprocal graphs. Um, exponential, well, it, in basic, it uh, means it's just growing very rapidly. Um, so uh, let's 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 have a look. Um, so unlike reciprocal ones, the the idea when we go and consider uh, values to take. Um, I'm just going to do it like minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. Okay, we're not looking at those uh, sort of some decimal values in there. We don't really need to go and consider that. All right, so uh, so that's sort of slightly easier. Now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to follow the rule through. Okay, so you can see I've already set the table out here. So it just means two to the power of x. So I've, let's start with the easier ones again. Okay, so two to the power of one. Okay, so two to the power of one is just two. Two to the power of two is four. Two to the power of three, which is two times two times two, is going to be eight. If you're unsure, get your calculator. Just do it on your calculator, okay? It's fine, it's particularly if you get an awkward one to do, right? So two to the power of zero. Now, you might not trust me on this, but if I just quickly show you, look, uh, two and I can use the power button just up there okay that was that one just there and if I just pop a zero in there and press equals and it's one all right now I'm not going to get into kind of why that's the case some people kind of say oh why isn't that zero it should be zero um, it's one right two to the minus one um, I know we've you know we've looked at some of these previously um, and two to the Minus one. If if I just write that down for you again, we we can use our calculator. It's fine. Okay. So if you're not sure, just pop it into your calculator. But what does it actually mean? So two to the minus one. Remember, when you get a negative power, it actually means it actually just means that. So if you work that on your calculator, you'll get uh, you get 0 0.5. Um, you get a half. So I'm I'm going to write it as a decimal. It's just going to be easier to plot it in a minute. All right. So. There we go. Um, again, you just just pop it into your calculator if you're really not sure. Um, so two to the power of minus two. What exactly does that mean? So again, I'm, I'm just going to jot it down just so you can see what it means. And we've done sort of negative indices before, and it just means it just means that, which is going to be 0.25. Right, that's one over four. Um, then the last one is 2 to the power of minus 3 so that's like two, uh, 1 over 2 to the power of 3 which is um, going to be like uh, it's going to be 1 over 8 but just show you on the calculator okay just in case you want to go and do this on your calculator so I can just go 2 to the power minus 3 I just type it like that okay so if you've got anything there that you're not too sure about just do it like that dead easy there we go 1 over 8, and we'll pop it as a decimal, 0 0.125. Okay, there we are, 0 0.125. Right, so I'm going to quickly draw this, okay, just to show you what this is going to going to look like. We just sort of leave that in shot, just so you can see my table. Right, so it's a little bit easier to do. I haven't actually got to go on this, uh, on my y-axis. I don't really need to go into negatives. So I'm going to give myself plenty of room, as you can see what I'm doing there, look. Okay, so I'm going to have zero will be here. I'm just going to space it out a little bit more, remember. It's always better if you can. Just space it out. Make sure it's, it's continuous scale. So there's my x-axis. We can just see there. And my y-axis is going to come up here. What does it need to go up to? It needs to go up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, right? I unnecessarily had quite a bit too much space there. Okay, I wasn't sure, so that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, so let's go and plot these values. Remember, three went to eight, two went to four, one went to two, zero went to one, minus one, 0.5, two, a little bit lower, three, a little bit lower, just down there. Okay. And then we just get, we can just connect those together. Just try and get a nice smooth curve. Remember, just get, if you're using a nice sharp pencil, it's better. 
we've seen quite a few of these done in pen. Let's try and get them using pencil. There we go. That's the y-axis. What was this line called? y equals 2x. Right. And it's got this feature of an exponential graph. Is that look, it sort of starts off quite gradual and then it's getting much bigger steps, much bigger steps. Okay, so it's kind of is increasing kind of like that increase is going times two each time. And it's going to really go up there very quickly. You might kind of try and think of some parallels of stuff that's in the news at the moment about how that's growing. Um, the other thing to look out for here is can you spot uh, an asium tote? Remember we've spoken about asium totes. Um, can you spot an asium tote there? And you might, I might well ask you to do that on some of the questions I'm going to ask you to do. Okay, so let's just have a look at one more of these. Um, same sort of idea. Here we go. Um, I've just done it just slightly more complex. It's not too much difference. Right? It's just a little bit more to it. Same sort of idea. And we're going to have, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put in the plus two. So the, the equation I want you to do here is y equals three to the power of x. It's not three x, it's three to the power of x plus two, right? Like the last one was y equals two to the power of x, right? It wasn't y equals two x. So I, I'm just going to put the plus twos in first, okay? Let's pop those in, just going across the board because they're always plus two, always do the bits that you don't really have to think about too much, first of all. And then three to the power of x. So let's, again, three to the power of one is three. Three to the power of two, three to the power of three. Three to the power of zero, you can check this on your calculator, it's one. Um, and then these guys over here, well, let's, we can, you can pop those into your calculator. It's gonna be one over three. It's going to be 1 over 9. It's going to be 1 over 27. Right? So I, I said about putting this as a decimal. I, I want you just to see it so you can kind of see how it relates over here. We can, we can obviously, I said before about writing those as a decimal. So what have we got here? We've got 29, we've got 11, we've got 5, we've got 3, we've got 2 in a bit, 2 in 1 third. 2 in 1 ninth, 2 in 1 twenty seventh. Okay, strictly speaking, yes, I should have I should have done those as a decimal, okay? I was just trying to save myself a little bit of time. Um, and then let's go and draw the graph, okay? So again, we're going to just gonna pop in my y-axis there. I don't really know how much space I'm going to need at the moment, so I'm just going a little bit more than I think I need. And what have we got? We got one, two, and three, minus one, minus two, minus three. And going up, it's got to go up to 29. So, yeah, yuck. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go up in twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. 28 and 30. Okay, so I've gone up as far as I need to. So that's y axis, x axis, look, minus one, one, there's zero just there. I haven't actually written it down, but it is there. Right, so three goes up to 29. So we're going to plot that in just there. And two goes to 11. And one went to five. And zero went to three, and then minus one is going to two and a bit. All right, so it's going to be in there. You can see why I wasn't really too bothered about the decimal here. Um, two and a even a less bit, and minus three is two and a even tiny less of a bit. All right, just down there, and then I'm going to go and draw this in. Here we go. So let's pop this in here. And try and get it as smooth as you can. And it can be a curve. I don't want it to this one time. I don't really want you getting your ruler out. Okay. Curve. Right. Yeah, it's a little bit wobbly, but that's fine. Um, what do we got? We got y, 3 to the x plus 2. Again, think about the asymptote. Think about why there's an asymptote at this particular point. I, I'm, I'm going to mark it in for you, okay? Um, because it is an important feature of this graph. But I want you to think about what's going on. All right? Not just doing it, 
go through the actions because actually that's not particularly difficult look at this feature just in here all right and as we're going to go up minus four minus five remember it's always going to be two and a bit think about why it's two and a bit look at the equation and as you do some of the questions in a minute I want you to try and think about well, what do I think the RCM tote will be where it will be before I actually draw it so on this one it was at y equals 2 okay that's the equation of the line y equals 2 it's not x equals 2 by the way right, that line is y equals 2 on the previous one sorry just out of shot there sorry about that is that's y equals 2 right there's the RCM tote just there and the previous one here, where was the asymptote? Well, the asymptote was actually the x axis, y equals zero, just there. Right, that's where the asymptote was because this is never going to quite get there. Okay, so I've got a few questions.